Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be um, a short little project share from some of the new um, designs coming out on July 1st from Scrap Diva Designs. Here is the website and this is all of Erica's social media so be sure you follow along and watch what everybody's making some gorgeous stuff. <clears throat> First up, what I used was the Flamingo Embellishment Set. I had no idea how cute this was until I got it out and cut it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I used them on here. Look how adorable these little flamingos are. Aren't those the cutest? I think they're just so sweet. I mean, there's, uh, there's you know, a few different flamingo sets out there but this one is just I think it's so cute so I have la mine layered up on foam and stuff a couple different layers of like the wings and I you know pop the beak and stuff up on foam get a little bit of dimension um, these little flowers <clears throat> and this little flower piece comes with the set also his little feet a little layering piece for his beak so I thought they turned out so sweet so I love that one. So those will make a ton of cute little embellishments. <clears throat> and then what I put it on is the Ticket Memory Decks. So there's the Ticket Memory Decks. So you get your um, ticket pieces. So we got, this is the base piece, the aqua color. And then this is my layering piece that I cut out another piece of pattern paper from the collection. The collection I'm using, by the way, on these product pro projects that I'm sharing with you today are from Simple Stories, just BG. So this is like the perfect um, collection to use with this, to use with these dies. So, so fun. Um, so, and you can, um, so here I, I've made it a Memdex, okay. Also, with the um, die set, you get two other pieces <clears throat> that just cut out tickets. So I went ahead and cut those out just so you could see um, what they look like. So there's the next one, and then there's also this one. This one, I actually cut it off the, um, I cut out of the little, um, like the front sheet of the collection set that has all the different, it shows you all the different colors and stuff of paper. And this was down the bottom, so I just kind of lined this up, my die up on that, and just I think that turned out like a really fun little ticket. So anyway, that's the two other sizes that are just plain tickets that come along with the memory deck set. Just so you know, okay. And you know you could layer these up if you wanted to. So very cute. So again, that is the ticket memory decks. So love that one also. Okay. <coughs> Now, next one I'm going to show you is called the popcorn box. I did not make it a popcorn box. I made it a beach pail. So I'm staying close and let you show you what I did on the front and then I'll kind of zoom out again in a minute to show you the whole thing. But anyway, this is kind of my front piece. Um, <clears throat> I made it a shaker. So there's a shaker back here. Um, some cute little, um, I have acetate in the back and then I have some um, tool in the front and then just some little, just a little amount of flat little um, sequins in, in there. They're kind of like a striped kind of aqua color. And then I used a bunch of the stickers and chipboard and ephemera pieces and everything from the collection to decorate it. Um, this, um, my um, sand bucket. Um, this is my, <laughs> this is my, what do you call it? Shovel. <laughs> Come with another set from Scrap Diva, which is called the Bucket and Shovel that she released, I think, last year. Anyway, um, it's part of this set here. And so it, it's a set that makes the bucket a bucket and has a shovel with it and some other little accent pieces like flip-flops and starfish and that kind of stuff. So, but I went ahead and made this one. I just thought it would look cute um, with this kind of wavy edge. I just, it just reminded me of a cute little sand bucket. So that's what I, how I decided to do mine. 
Okay. Really easy to put together. You just cut the base piece out, this white piece in the back here. There's one of these and you cut it out four times and then you just stick it together. This piece here is a layering piece that I layered. I layered on each side. This back one, I arranged my um, die on top of a pattern paper that I liked. So I wanted that, this was at the top of the page, I think, and I wanted to, so I just placed it over there to line it up. And here's the other side. Okay, and the bottom just folds in. I forgot to put a piece of, usually when I fold these on the outside, I usually take another, cut another one and, and cover over the bottom, but I forgot to do that on this one, so I will. But anyway, it's a, all my base is 110 pound cardstock, just white. Okay, let me kind of zoom out just a tad here, so you can see the whole pail. So here's my, um, I use the Scrap Diva purse. Um, purse handle die set. I think that's what it's called. It purse strap, purse straps bundle. <clears throat> and I use this one that's kind of the zigzag just because I liked, you know, it was like the top of the of the bucket here. And then I layered it up with a layering piece, and then I just attach it with some cute little brads. These are kind of um, a flower shaped brad. And then um, I haven't filled it up with anything yet. I made a cute little charm. I'm just learning how to do charms, um, trying to, you know, make them even and, you know, sometimes I get them like full on one side, they're kind of empty on the other. I'm <laughs> anyway, I got all kinds of beads, I got cute little, uh, uh, little octopus that I hauled off Timu, a cute little, you know, life, uh, ring thing, a little, I got a dolphin, I got starfish, got a bow, and then I attached it with the kind of this lobster clasp that I had here. Kind of a greenish plastic colored one. I thought that looked real cute hanging off there. So that is my project and I'm going to fill it up with a bunch of stuff. Now as I've mentioned in my last video or two, I am going to start, um, or I did start last month, um, giving away some of these projects that I'm making. Um, I have a lot of projects that I create and I just don't have room to store them all. So even though a lot of them I really want to. Um, but I'm going to start um, doing a drawing, so make sure on all my videos, make sure you're watching, make sure you're a subscriber on my YouTube channel. Make sure you like the video and leave me comments because I'm gonna randomly pick winners from people who leave comments, okay? To, to receive some of these. Last month was the first month I decided to do it and it was who? Uh, Michelle um, Crafty Ruse, she won my first giveaway. She's done a video on um, what she received for me. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned and make sure you comment on the videos that you see because you never know where I'm gonna pick them from, okay? And I sent not only um, the handmade goodies that had, I had made, but I also included some store-bought stuff. So anyway, just to let you know to be paying attention. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will have Erica's shop list listed down below. <coughs> Actually linked. I'll have my discount code listed. I, of course, can't list uh, link any of the dies yet because they're not available till July 1st. But once they are, I will um, um, go back to my unboxing video that I already did, and I will list and link all the, all the dice sets so it'll be easy for you to find. So make sure you use my discount code to save you some money at checkout if you decide to purchase anything. Hope I have inspired you to make some fun summer items. There are such cute dies in the set. So looking forward to making more. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.